Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the General Association of Armenian Veterans will be held in Cannes. Those who insulted the Armenian church in Kostadnapol were justified. In the name of Strong Artsakh, social work master program is in the process. Armenia and Syria celebrate the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations. Address of the Union of Women Democratic Elements on the occasion of March 8. A snow storm has stuck on the Van Bakhtche Sarai road. The thickness of the snow cover reaches 10 meters. A Turkish musician at the age of 40 found out that he is an Armenian. Dear compatriots, on March 12, 2022, we invite you to Cannes, France, to meet with the veterans of two Artsakh wars. During the meeting, the chairman of the Union Veterans, Jen Kazarosian, will greet those present on behalf of the government. A minute of silence will honor the memory of our victims. The president of the Union will present a report. There will be another report on the activities of Vice President Vresh Abrahamian, a financial report, approval of reports by the auditor, and a report on activities for 2021. The official awarding of the Order of Sur Haj of Western Armenia. Presentation of the project will be held in 2022. Speeches of the statement, discussion of various other issues. Meeting place, how to the Cannes Association, 1st Avenue de Bruxelles. The court has acquitted three defenders who showed disrespectful attitude to the Armenian Church of St. Agavar in Kastadnapol in the Kadikoy area. For the defenders, this prosecutor's office demanded up to a year in prison on charges of disturbing public peace and assaulting their religious values for a part of society, in response to which the court issued a statement saying, none of them climbed the church, the accused did not act with criminal intent. On March 7th, Master of Mashtots passed the next course of the master's program, Social Work, initiated by the Armenian Educational Institution and the Government of Republic of Artsakh at Stepanakert University. This time, the university was visited by Alek Bagdasarian, a member of the Council of Armenian Educational Institution, and Mira Antonian, the chairman of Association of Social Workers of Armenia. The course is called In the Name of Strong Artsakh, the purpose of which is to have a strong Artsakh. Alek Bagdasarian expressed great joy in connection with his stay in Artsakh. The Armenian Educational Institution carries out various activities in Armenia and Artsakh, and I am proud that I was able to come to Artsakh today and see for myself the results of the work done. I am grateful to the State Minister of Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian, and the Minister of Social Development and Immigration of Republic of Artsakh, Armine Petrosyan, who contributed in every way to the successful organization of the program, said Bagdasarian. Armenian Foreign Minister Arat Mirzoyan and Syrian Minister of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora Faisal al Mikdad exchanged messages on the occasion of the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Armenia and the Syrian Arab Republic. Minister Arat Mirzoyan noted in a message that Armenian Syrian relations are based on a solid foundation of respect and trust for each other, which has been repeatedly expressed in humanitarian and moral support of the two states in difficult situation. Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal al Mikdad noted that friendly relations between our two countries in various fields have a long development. The Syrian side expressed readiness to further deepen the Armenian Syrian relation and strengthen historical ties for the benefit of two friendly peoples and countries. It should be noted that a diplomatic relation between Syria and Western Armenia and Cilicia actually began and continues since the formation of Eastern Legion, which liberated Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, and Cilicia. The Women's Union of Democrat Alevins, noting that women who adhere to the Raya Heck phase should live in a spirit of March 8th every day, sent a message on the occasion of the International Day of Working Women. The message in particular says, the goddesses of life are the owners of powerful words and perform powerful actions in their lives, history, notion and wind of our experiences. We are from those European countries where even in 2022 we live on nomads in our native place. Numerous genocide and programs have also occurred because of the face of Raya Hag. During each massacre, thousands of people were burned in their seam, hundreds in Marvash, Chorum, Koch, Giri, Sebastia, Western Armenia. And purposefulness was the elimination of the face that exists in us, the desire to erase our history, destroy our land, as well as genocide against us. Therefore, we, the women of face of Raya Hag, should live in a spirit of March 8th every day and be more organized. 
Due to the unfavorable weather conditions, snowfall occurred on the Van Bakhtasaray Highway in Western Armenia. Changshin employees continue to work on cleaning snow with a thickness of 10 meters. The Van Bakhtasaray Highway was closed for 40 days due to the adverse weather conditions and a threat of avalanches, resumed work last week. Now snow cleaning and work are continuing again, but the danger of avalanche does not allow workers to move forward. The famous rock singer of Turkey, Yasar Kurt, has always been a revolutionary deep in heart. He participated in anti-government action, he was detained and even sentenced to imprisonment. His songs were perceived as a symbol of dissent, sounded as the anthem of the struggle against violence and religious intolerance. In Turkey, no one was surprised when in October 2008, Yasar signed a well-known statement without hesitation, the authors of which asked to the forgiveness for the Armenians for the policy of authorities of the issue of genocide. Side. Read the full material on our official website. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.